hey everyone it's chi here again welcome to my channel and thank you for tuning in i thought to share some of the job openings that require very easy application process and is willing to offer visa sponsorships to you and your family to relocate abroad all you need to do is send your cv to an email address that i'm going to share with you you can also add a cover letter to make your application stand out from others I have shared tips on how to create cover letters in less than five minutes and I'll include the link in the video description. These jobs require little or no experience and no degree. If this sounds interesting to you, please support the channel by liking this video so that YouTube can recommend it to more people and also subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you can be informed each time I put out information like this, which I do every single week and you don't want to miss out on. I'm on a journey to help as much people as I can relocate abroad with their family and I'll be happy to welcome you in the comment section. The first job on my list today is that of a dishwasher. I believe everyone knows how to wash plates. So this is like pretty easy, like I promised. The job is in Belleville, Ontario, and it's paying $23 per hour for 35 hours per week. The job is starting as soon as possible and it has so many benefits included, including um health benefits and there are currently three vacancies available for this job so go ahead and you know just get your spot as soon as possible they are looking for permanent employment full time and there is a flexible schedule of both day night evening and weekend shifts for languages you just need to know how to speak english and that uh, there are no degree or certificate or diploma needed for this job and for experience they just require experience of between one month to seven months experience that is basically like no experience at all right uh these are the benefit like i said earlier dental plan disability benefits health care plan vision care benefits and parking sports so this employer is accepting applications from Canadian citizens and other candidates with or without a Canadian work permit and uh, you click on how to apply and you're going to see this email and uh, you go ahead and send your CV and possibly your cover letter to this email also include your letter of recommendation that is more like a reference letter include this in your application because the employer is asking about it now let's move on to the next one. guys just before we move over to the other ones i've got this job here for the position of the kitchen helper posted by jeju sushi japanese restaurant they currently have two vacancies and they're paying 16 dollars to 17 dollars per hour for up to 40 hours every week you get to work as a permanent employee and full-time and this role is starting as soon as possible so if you're interested in any in a job like this this is actually a really good one you just need your english requirement and no degree is needed not even secondary school no certificate no diploma nothing they will train you on the job you clean and sanitize kitchen including the work surfaces etc you receive and unpack supplies you remove kitchen garbage and trash you sweep mop and wash as well as cut and peel vegetables so i mean for the personal suitability for this job you just need to be client focused reliable and a team player this employer is accepting applications from candidates with or without canadian vm work permit and all you need to do is click on show how to apply and you're going to see the email address that you should be applying to or you can apply directly on job bank guys if you've got some value from this video so far please give it a thumbs up so that youtube can push it out to more people and if you haven't please subscribe to my channel and turn on your post notifications so that you get notified every time i put out information like this i do this every single week and you don't want to miss out on it this other job also is also for a kitchen helper by petrus pizza steakhouse and they're paying 15 dollars per hour for up to 35 hours a week permanent employment and full time with flexible work routines it's as soon as possible two vacancies are needed 
all you need is your English requirement, no degree, certificate or diploma as well, no secondary school, nothing. They will train you on the job as well. These are all the tasks, just the regular tasks for a kitchen helper, somebody that is assisting uh, the cooks and people that are working in the kitchen. So, and uh, for the work condition, it's going to be a fast-paced environment. You're going to be handling heavy loads. Over time, might be required to be physically demanding and the task will be repetitive. Don't worry, you might not get bored. And um, for weight, you might, be, you might be handling up to 9 kg and you need to be client focused, efficient with your interpersonal skills, reliable and a team player. To apply for this job, go ahead, click on show how to apply. And voila, the email address. Oh, they didn't put an email address for this particular one. So it's either you're applying by mail or you're applying in person, which I don't think is possible if you're outside the country. So guys, it's either you go ahead and apply to this one that has provided an email address. One, the next job on our list is this one for an administrative assistant. And uh, the job is advertised by Baymont and uh, Wyndham Edson. The job is paying $26 per hour and you get to work for 40 hours per week. Uh, there's a flexible schedule as well. Day, evening, night, early morning, you know, morning. And the job is starting as soon as possible. Two vacancies available and you get to be a permanent employee and full-time as well. You just need to know how to speak English and have a secondary school graduation certificate. For experience, they require you to have seven months to less than one year of experience. And the responsibilities for the role include arranging and coordinating seminars and conferences, supervising other workers, determining and establishing office procedures and routine, schedule and confirm appointments, compile data like these are all the responsibilities and if this looks like something you can do and you already have this little experience you can go ahead and apply for this job the employer is accepting application from other candidates with or without canadian work permits and when you click on how to apply this email pops up and you can go ahead and send your cv to this email asap for the third one today, we have an automobile mechanic. I get a lot of people sending me messages. Oh, uh, do you have opportunities for a mechanic or opportunities for an electrician? I'm still looking for one for an electrician, but here you have a mechanic opportunity. And I believe this is in SK, which is Saskatchewan. They're paying 26 uh, point fifty dollars per hour and you get to work for 40 hours per week you get to work full time as a permanent employee which is very important for that job stability when you move outside the country so you should know how to speak english and you should have your secondary school graduation certificate or equivalent experience so basically this job is saying no education needed even if you don't have secondary school certificates we are fine as long as you have the required experience that we need for this job we are going to hire you the experience needed is between one year to less than two years and the work setting for this job is in shop and you must be willing to relocate isn't that what we are praying for guys so now for the responsibilities, this should be like the usual responsibilities for a mechanic uh, that is adjust, repair or replace parts and components of commercial transport truck systems, inspect and test mechanical units to locate fault and malfunctions, inspect motor in operation, road test, 
motor vehicles, test automotive systems and components, adjust, repair or replace parts and components of automotive. Like this is everything a mechanic does, right? Like everything sounds, everything should sound familiar to you if you're a mechanic. And if you don't, if you're not a mechanic, you can send it to a mechanic that you know because these applications are really easy. Like I feel like everyone should be able to move abroad if they can just put in the time to do these applications so for experience these are their areas of specialization engine repair four wheel drive electrical and electronic system diesel engines diagnostics alignment steering and suspension brake system all these things are normal um normal mechanic stuff for the additional information, these are the work conditions and physical capabilities that they are telling you about ahead of time. So just know that it's going to be a fast paced environment. It's going to be hand eye coordination, manual dexterity. These are like all the things that it will involve. For your personal suitability, you have to be accurate, client focused, dependable, have excellent oral communication and flex you know everything is on this link on this website so you click on show how to apply and it brings out the email address that you should be applying to and even a phone number that you can call the fourth job is for the position of a carpenter it is being advertised by five star siding limited and the job is in Surrey, bc it's paying $30 per hour and you get to work for up to 35 hours per week as a permanent employee and full-time as well. It's starting as soon as possible and they're looking for two people to work day, evening, morning. You know, the shifts are just quite flexible. What you just need to know is know how to speak and write English, have your secondary school graduation certificate, have an experience of between two years to less than three years. You're going to be working in a noisy and dusty environment, of course. I mean, that's what carpenters do, right? And uh, the work setting will be construction, commercial, residential, various locations typically. And it will be a combination of sitting, standing, working. It's actually like physically demanding. So it's just everything that we expect the job of a carpenter to be. So make sure that you are accurate. You have you know good judgment and you're reliable this employer is accepting applications from candidates with or without canadian work permit and to apply you click on show how to apply and it's going to pop up this email address and you can send your cv and possibly cover letter to this email going over to the fifth one we have plumber helper advertised by rabin plumbing inc it's also in Surrey, BC, and you get to be paid $21 per hour for up to 45 hours per week. This job is a, is a permanent employment, full-time, with flexible routines, and it's starting as soon as possible. Uh, have your English requirements, your secondary school certificate, your one year to less than two years experience. You're going to be working in various locations and your tasks will include loading, unloading and transporting construction materials, mixing, pouring and spreading material, assisting heavy equipment operators, assisting in aligning pipes during pipeline construction and so forth. So you must have experience with equipment and machinery, reciprocating saws, circular saws, sledgehammers, you know, you know all that good stuff with a plumber helper guys so if you want to apply for this job click on show how to apply and the email is going to be looking at you right there and you can also directly apply on job bank and uh, take note of what you are being asked to include in this application a cover letter and references attesting to your experience include this to your email if you're going to be applying via email or you can also click on apply to job bank and create an account on job bank and go ahead and apply guys so the fifth job today will be that of a security guard supervisor in brampton you're going to be earning 34 dollars per hour for up to 35 hours per week 
how many employment full time and starting as soon as possible. These jobs have just been recently posted, so the earlier you apply for them, the better. Uh, English language requirements, secondary school certificates for your qualification, and experience is just seven months to less than one year. I believe anybody should be able to do security guard supervisor. Like that's a pretty easy job. As long as you have all the credentials and you can put all of these things together. Uh, for the task, you need to establish what schedules and procedures, handle emergency situations, prepare and submit progress and other reports, resolve work-related problems, and so forth. And for your credentials, you need CPR certificate, first aid certificate, security guard license. You are going to be conducting a criminal record check on you. I mean, that is normal based on the type of job you're applying and uh, you need to be an organized and reliable person this employer is accepting applications from candidates with or without a canadian work permit that means it's open to foreigners wherever you are go ahead please show how to apply and send them your application the sixth one today will be a construction manager by Saudi development limited and uh, this job is in Vancouver, British Columbia, and they're paying $41 per hour for 45 hours per week. Like, this is so good. That's this is like one of the highest paying that I've seen so far. And you're going, to be empo you're going to be employed as a permanent employee, and you work full time with flexible hours. The job is started as soon as possible, and they're looking for just one person. So the earlier you apply, the better for all of us. Uh, have your English language requirements ready. You have your secondary school uh, graduations ready, the certificates. You don't need a degree for all these jobs I'm posting here today. Your experience, you should have like up to three years experience, between two years and three years experience in construction management. And the task you'll be doing is preparing and submitting construction projects, budget estimates, hire and supervise activities of subcontractors, plan and prepare construction schedules and milestones, and monitor progress. So, guys, this is like all the rest of it. And if you're if you're if you're open to any of these jobs, you can go ahead and apply to them ASAP. And yeah, thank you guys for staying to the end of this video. I'll put a link up there for other positions that I have posted in the past. Go ahead and apply as soon as possible. Some of the jobs are still open and the links will be added in the description. Bye.